Imagine signing up for a gig thinking you'll be back to Earth in a few months. But surprise, you're stuck floating around in space for the next two years. Talk about a work from home nightmare, or rather work from space nightmare. Houston, we have a problem. More like Houston, we have a really, really big problem. Boeing's little hiccup has turned into an interstellar epic saga. Anyone got Netflix recommendations for the next two years? Hey, they always say longer vacations are better, right? Guess those astronauts sure hit the jackpot. Nothing like seeing sunrise and sunset every 45 minutes. Literally, it's 202 sunsets by the time they brush their teeth. Forget about delayed flights on Earth. Try being delayed in space. Attention passengers, your return flight to Earth has been rescheduled to 2025. Oh joy. Frequent flyer miles, anyone? Meanwhile, on Earth, Jeff in accounting can't even get his head around a delayed coffee order. Imagine explaining to these astronauts that their Uber ride home just isn't coming. Ever. Hatter's space problems. Well, at least they're not missing out on traffic jams, right? Besides, what's two extra years floating in the abyss when you have the view of nothing every day? Space Zen. So audience, what do you think? Would you sign up for an extended space vacation knowing spring break might last until 2025? Or is that one giant leap too far? Like and subscribe, please.